Hi, I'm Jim Bennett, President and CEO of the Metropolitan Washington Airports Authority. I want to welcome you to Loudoun County, home of Washington Dulles International Airport. I like to believe one of the reasons that Loudoun has such a vibrant business community is because it has Washington Dulles International Airport. Many of the businesses that choose to locate here and expand their operations here do so because of the proximity to Washington Dulles and the ability to get their clients, customers, and employees in and out of the airport and often on airplanes throughout the world. The Dulles Airport opened in November of 1962. In its first full year of operation, which was 1963, a mere 666,000 passengers went through the airport. Today, Washington Dulles serves about 27 million passengers a year. About 73 or 74,000 passengers a day pass through the terminals at Washington Dulles. Uh, back in 63, very few airplanes were landing and taking off at the airport. Today, there are almost 500 flights a day that depart Washington Dulles to destinations around the world. Washington Dulles is now over 12,000 acres of land and has been long and has been for a long time one of the fastest growing airports in the United States. As president and CEO of the Airports Authority, uh, I'm responsible for making sure that Washington Dulles International Airport as well as Reagan National Airport serve the traveling needs of the greater metropolitan Washington region, including of course Loudoun County, which is home to Washington Dulles International Airport. Uh, the Airports Authority is investing over $5 billion in the complete rebuilding of the airport. We're building additional runways, additional roadways, terminal buildings, parking garages, uh, and an underground train system and new air traffic control tower. What we're doing is positioning the airport so that it will be better able to serve the future air transportation needs of the greater Washington region. The Airports Authority and Loudoun County have been working in concert for these past many years to make sure that as Loudoun County grows, one of the fastest growing counties in the United States, that that growth is done in a manner that's compatible with the future needs of the airport. So that as our airport grows, uh, we're not impacted by residential uh, encroachment and non-compatible development around the borders. Their noise overlay zoning district that they have serves as a model for the rest of the country as to how communities with large airports within their boundaries should plan for the future growth of those airport facilities. I've been a member of the Loudoun County Economic Development Commission for almost five years now. Uh, we meet on a monthly basis, the business and community leaders, to try to make sure that we continue to have Loudoun County grow as a very positive place for people that want to locate their businesses here and do business in Loudoun County. The Airports Authority and the Loudoun County Economic Development Commission have a very close relationship. Uh, we support them in any way we can, especially as they're working with companies already located in Loudoun that are looking to expand, or as they uh, work with new companies that want to move into the Loudoun area. We provide them with information on airport services and flights that we have available. In addition, they support us, the Loudoun County Economic Development Commission does, as we do our international marketing trying to recruit new airlines into Washington Dulles. They provide us with a tremendous amount of support and information so that makes that marketing effort far more successful. Mm -hmm.